Buddy Woodbury, W Hunt and Supply. Uh, today, news that we need to make some changes. Uh, customer that was kind of upset with us, what they call this bump cap. Distraught and upset and it really hurt their feelings. No longer gonna call these a bump cap because ap apparently it's too familiar to the bump stock situation. So, so here's a couple things that are gonna be changing for W. In today's day and age, obviously being 19 or 20 doesn't make you responsible. I know some 21 year olds that can't handle Facebook. Uh, everybody seems to be going to 21, so we're just going to go to 21. So to manage an alpha or an astro system. We are no longer selling to anybody under the age of 21. Would make me a little nervous. We will need valid ID. I really want to keep our tape machine. It's ridiculous to think that we should have that much power. Because it has the word automatic, we might have to get rid of it. But it's fully automatic. I mean, it's, it's... The old days of the full automatic training are over. You're just going to have to push the button very rapidly. We're only going to offer semi-automatic. Do they call it semi-automatic? Okay, we got to go, we got to get rid of the fully automatic tape machine. I'm not happy about it. And go back to the old manual. I mean, you can do it as fast as you want. One strip at a time. Uh, we're going to include a wait time for callers now. Just like buying a handgun. We don't make the rules, we just enforce them. We're now going to require a background check. It's going to be pretty extensive, guys. Mother's maiden name. First dog name. Birth city. Favorite drink. What kind of truck you drive, tire size. Firstborn child. We're going to run a mental health check on you, whatever it takes. High capacity map cards. Too easy for us. We shouldn't have to have that much map. We're gonna have to cut it down. Ridiculous that you can fit one state on one card. It's just too much information. No more high capacity. So we're gonna do it county by county. It's a thing of the past. Two gigs at a time. No more high capacity map cards. I like that everybody's a little bit different. Every color in the rainbow. You know, what if the dog self identifies with a pink collar? Diversity. I like a variety in my pack. Politically correct. Anybody that calls and asks us for all 12 orange collars. That's an old school way of thinking. You can't just do all one color. You gotta have a diverse colored pack. If Buck wants to wear a blue collar, maybe he wants to wear a pink collar. He might wanna wear a purple collar. Gotta be fair to all the colors. It's time we bring some diversity into our packs. So we're just automatically gonna change it. It's not really right that you get to decide that anymore. <laughs> Dummy collars, that's really insulting to the collar. We carry dummy collars. I mean, is that really fair to a collar? That's not politically correct to call them dummies. We should call them... We're just going to go with a... Fake collars? I mean, really, those collars are... They know what they're doing. Pretend! Yeah. The dogs obviously know what they do. W from this point on will never carry a dummy collar. It's not fair that we are the fastest. Well, that's really making some of our competitors feel kind of bad. To judge other people off of our standards. Just don't want our competitors to feel that bad. Not fair to our competitors. That's not fair to other companies. Our competition has feelings too. So we're going to start giving some wrong answers once in a while. We got to think about everybody else. So we've decided to slow down our shipping times as well. Call me on a Monday. I'm going to give you a wrong answer. So fortunately, we are going to have to start giving out some false info. We're not always going to have the right answer. We're going to have to hold your packages up. But then we're going to sit it on the shelf. The two-day delay that is going to apply towards your wait period. Even the playing field. It's the way the world's changing, guys. We're really wanting to look out at everything we do to stay politically correct. So, anything else? Screw the 10 port charger. I can't find nothing insulting about that. <laughs> Greatest <laughs> thing ever. Saving energy with a 10 port charger. I cannot do this. I don't know what a bump stock is. I may choose at the end of this to not have. We'll discuss. In three, two, one. I don't think they're stupid. I would just say they don't have the maturity yet. So do I got to look enthused? You talk to me, you're gonna get a wrong answer anyway. <laughs> Buddy Woodbury W. That didn't work. So one of the things, one thing that really. I own a lot of two-year-old puppies. I mean, I totally get it. <laughs> I have a two-year-old puppy who just chewed up your daughter's plants on the deck. Bulletproof screen protectors. That implies bullets. Explosion proof. Well, again, that would be a fun thing to see the testing of that. I would like to see that. Other companies start to follow suit Sweet, suit, suit, whatever that is. What different types of explosions were they using? I, can we get like funny, like keep face? Chase, <laughs> Chase here. <laughs>
good job. Somebody needs to hit, um... I don't know. Maybe I, maybe we don't know. Maybe something I've never heard of before. 